Good morning, sir. How are you? I bring all of you keeping well at home. So today we are going to uh, explain or rather learn about a new topic called relative pronoun. Okay. So how we can do the relative pronoun? I shall tell you. It's very easy. First of all, what is relative pronoun? The words like who, which, that, whose, whom. They take the two words, okay? They take the two sentences, okay? And make them one through these words who, which, that, whose, whom. It's called a related pronoun. For example, he was a man. He was arrested by police, right? So these are two sentences. Now, what is the work of this relative pronoun? To make these two sentences into a one sentence. So the word that will be joining or that will be conjoining these two sentences into one that is called a relative pronoun. We shall solve it. How? Now, he was a man. Okay, so he, he, he is what? He is a man, so we can use the word for who. So we will be using who was arrested by police. Easy? What we have done is that we have taken the two different sentences. And we have used the one word, okay, that is who, which, that, who's, who, okay. Now, how to use these different words into a sentence, okay. Who is always used for a man? That and which. Is used for non-humans. Okay. Then what we have? Whose and whom? These two words are used when we refer the third. Okay, third person or a third object or third person object all these are difficult to remember but don't worry we can just change these different sentences okay how for example that and which. So, and he, for example, he bought a pen. The pen was fantastic. Okay. So, what we can do is the pen, right? Here's a pen. The pen or pen. Let, let's write the pen, the pen. Now, these are two different sentences where one word is similar. What is that? The pen. So the pen is what? It's a non living thing. So we can use he bought the pen. The pen, the pen. We do not have to write again. Instead of we are using relative clothes or relative clothes. Which was fantastic. Easy? Okay. We can go for the another example also. Okay. For example, now use this word whose. Okay. Whose means, and as I was saying, the third person. I met a man. The man 
watch was lost so we can write the man the man the other side that is the So we can change our uh, I met the man. Now third person we have to refer to. So you can use whose. Whose watch was was lost. Okay. <coughs> Another example to the moon. I know him very well. You met the person. The person you met yesterday. Okay. So a person with a him which is a third person. I know. Him very well. So the person or he is third person only. So we can write whom you met yesterday. So guys, to learn this related pronoun, it's too easy. Only the thing that we have to do is who is always third person. Which and that for nominality? Who is and who models you are using? Either for the nominality, who's, or who you are using for a person who will be objecting as third side. Okay? Hope you understood related for now. Very good.